Hi. Hi, gang. <laughs> I just wanted to give a quick overview of um, what I'm asking for on the critique activity. And, you know, I know you have a lot going on. Of course, this is ungraded and optional, but uh, we would do something like this in class where I'd ask you to kind of explore one database either you know or you are unfamiliar with and, and sort of dig around what kind of information is there, how do you like it, use all those critique skills you've worked on to look at exhibits and artwork and kind of put them, twist them so they work on critiquing databases. Um, and this is going to be helpful because um, these all look very different and what you need for your unique question is, is going to all depend on what kind of research questions you're asking. So it will be handy to have those tools in place where you can get on a database, do some playing around, do some searching, and then be able to kind of critique and determine if that is going to work for you, if that is uh, kind of satisfying your information need, right? So I just kind of want to go through it as a mock right now. I'm here on your course guide and um, I am going to explore Oxford Art Online. So I click here and it kicks me over to the database. And here's where I might just be like, okay, do I like the look of it? Um, is it clear what it is? I'm, I see the title here, but then it's got these subtitles. Grove Art Online and the Dictionary of Artists. Um, that's because Oxford Art Online has um, a few things going on. It's a dictionary encyclopedia. You can check out the about here and get some more information. Um, it's claiming to be inclusive, easily searchable, online art resources uh, through a single gateway. Uh, with a regularly updated art reference from um, the Dictionary of Artists and Grove Dictionary of Art. And so I can kind of peek at this and see if this is something I would like to use. Um, these headings up here are sort of interesting. You could play around with these as well. I find these are kind of fun if you don't really know what you're looking at, um, but they can be a little overwhelming. So I'm looking at portraiture and paintings, and when I go to that subject heading, um, it gives me, you know, quite a few results, and it's asking me to modify my search here on the side, right, by either putting in the name of someone or kind of going down and adding date ranges or a field of study, um, a specific medium, and that is feeling honestly a little clunky to me, an era to kind of go through this way. So that might be one way. I see the search bar here where I could add in some things, see what I've got going on in my life here. Um, what does advanced search look like? Well, in the Grove or in the Art Oxford Art Online, um, advanced search doesn't kind of look like the rest where we've got this two search bars here. Instead, that's over here on the left, advanced search. And it's telling me that I can, I can kind of pick where I want to search, right? I can pick in here. Um, I can add terms like Judith Leister this way and play around with the and or or through this, which, you know, I don't, I don't particularly love, but maybe you do. So I can add another term, update that, and now it's looking in a few places um, for where Judith Leister and power are mentioned. So I've got women in art history. Um, it's telling me where it's coming from, Grove Art Online, uh, Netherlands in the Kingdom. Okay, so I could take a look at an entry like this. What am I looking at? This is about um, women in art history. I've got headings over here, so I can jump around a little bit, right? Um, that seems like it could be interesting in a lot of ways. Let's see. Do I want to maybe just search for Judith, right? Let's see. I'll type in her name. I get a couple entries here. Let's see. I get 12. Uh, Judith here, Mary Company. So this is all sort of, you know, I'm either getting just images I see of her works um, or entries where she is mentioned. And let's take a look at one of them. Okay, here's one. Um, 
Dutch painter. So like I said, these are going to kind of read like a Wikipedia page, right? Some of these, some of these are going to read like that because Wikipedia is based on an encyclopedia model, uh, much like Grove Art Online is. So I can get a lot of information here and sort of follow some leads around. But what I'm not seeing are any sort of like magazine articles or scholarly articles. So kind of take what I'm looking at here, jump over to my board. I've got the questions pinned over here um, that you might consider. And then just kind of go to find the box where you looked and say something like, you know, Chris says, um, overall look is nice, not in-depth articles, um, advanced search is clunky. So I might type in something like that. I could add an image I found or a link of something I really liked, put that in, and then, um, you know, I can always go back and edit it this way, edit it, get rid of it. Um, I think that's just if you want to color code your work. And then, you, you know, other people can kind of comment on um, what people are saying. And I think that we might be able to have a nice little discussion here and then be able to use this board as a way to sort of collect at a glance info on the type of databases we might have. So you might come along and say, okay, Oxford Art Online, not a pl great place for you know, define in-depth articles. Bria says that, Mary says that, Cotty says that. Um, where might I look for to find that? Okay, so I hope that clears it up. If it's not clear though, you know, just have fun with it and it's a way for all of us to sort of share, share our info together.